So let's look at an example of this. On a production line, 8% of products are defective. If a sample of 50 products are taken, find the expected number of defective products and the standard deviation. So what we have is that x is a binomial distribution with n, 50, that's the size of the sample, and the probability of success, so the probability of them being defective, is 8%, so 0 0.08. So the expected value, or the expected number of products to be defective, would be out of the 50, 8% I would expect to be defective. So 50 times 0 0.08, or n times p. So 50 times by 0 0.08 gets me 4. So that's how many I would expect to be defective out of the 50. Now, I want the standard deviation, OK? Now, I know that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So I first need to find the variance. So that's n times p times 1 minus p. So 0 0.92. So times the 4 by 0 0.92. And we get 3.68. Now that's the variance, remember. So the standard deviation... I could spell it. There we are. Is the square root of the variance. So the square root of 3.68. So square root 3.68. And we get 1.918 to three decimal places. OK? And that's how we can work out the expected value of standard deviation from a problem like this.